Hey, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, we're not going to do Makeup Tip Monday because it's game day and it's time to do a full face. I've been really enjoying doing full faces again because we've been focused on such little tiny techniques lately. So the last couple videos I've done have been a full face. I hope you've enjoyed them. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to do um, a Florida State eye and a Florida State lip. I um, graduated from Florida State, of course, in 99. We're not going to the game today, but we're going to go watch the game. So I thought it'd be a little bit more helpful to do a live video today on Saturday than Monday. We're going to use the Cherry Blossom collection to do that. This is a new collection that has all plum colors, which are perfect for Florida State. By the way, I'm wearing mostly garnet and plum colors because I'm a winter, and if you are a cool complexion, you always want to stick with those garnet colors and then just accent with the gold. Um, I primed my eyelid, and I went ahead and put liner on. We're going to work with glitter today, and so I did not do my face. This is one of those situations where I left it blank because the glitter is probably going to fall onto the face, and we're going to have to dust that off before we do the face. So anytime you're doing a smoky eye or you're working with glitter, you really want to just do your eyes first and then clean it up and then do your face. So with the Cherry Blossom Collection for a Florida State look, I would usually start with either this blush color here or this blossom color here. We want to build to the darker purple colors, the, the garnety type colors, instead of just popping them right on the eye because we want it to look like um, a gradient of color where it goes slowly from the light to the dark. And that's how you get that faded, really buffed out, pretty eyeshadow look. So we're gonna start with Blossom. You can dip into blush as well. And I'm using a very large blending brush. This is the Morphe 441. It's my favorite blending brush. And I'm gonna look down at my mirror so that I can see all of the territory that I've got going on on my eyelids. I'm gonna start on the outside of the eye and I'm gonna sweep this color in. And those of you who watch my training videos regularly know that this motion is a swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper. And when we use the first color, we are up like right above the crease, actually. So you're not actually in the crease, you're above the crease. You're not quite as high as the brow bone, but you're pretty high up. And we're looking down. I always start on the outside of the eye because wherever you put the brush first is where the most amount of product is going to deposit. And I always want it to kind of be concentrated on the outside. So you can see that sort of plummy color starting to build. And I am bringing it pretty far in. Hey, Instagrammers, how y'all doing? Um, <laughs> I'm going back to your traditional style today. We're using two devices to do this. Um, all right, so this is our first color. It's on there. We're building that kind of pinky tone right now. And really anybody can use these colors. Just yesterday I used this same palette, but I only used two colors. So I used Blossom, and then I went into this shimmery pink color called Harmony on my eyelid, and I did mascara, and that was it. Did my face, and it was beautiful. So don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. Really, plums are very on trend, and any eye color can use them. The next brush I'm going to pick up is the Morphe 443, which is just a tad bit smaller. So as I'm moving down the eye to a darker color, I keep picking up lighter and lighter or smaller and smaller brushes, and we're going to move down. So this time we're going to be in the crease, and this time I'm going to pick up, um, I guess it's a Buki, or you could pick up Full Bloom, one of these two darker plum colors. And again, you're gonna look down and start in exactly the same spot. Now I'm gonna to start to develop my outer V is what I call it. Um, that's this outer triangle on the eyelid. And this time when you pull the color in, you're just doing it in the crease. So you're not quite as high as you were on that first color. You're just in the crease. This, the motion though is the same, swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper. And I'm going to do the other eye here. Again, looking down. If you can't get in the habit, really try and practice a looking down because then you can see all the territory you've got going on. Plus at my age, I don't want to squint. I don't want to be doing this to see one eye because I, my forehead does not need any more help getting wrinkly. Mm -mm. So I just look down. That way I can see my eyelid. Now this part's really important. I'm developing my outer V by building the color on the outer corner. Ooh, I just dipped into the wrong color. Um, and so if you don't look down, you're not going to be able to actually even see your eyelids. So you have to look down during this part to be able to see it. So as I'm putting on same colors, 
I'm just building the depth of those same colors by going back into the same colors over and over again. And every time it gets just a little bit darker. All right, you following me? Who's going to the game today? Who is actually attending the game? Okay, I'm gonna pick up the Mac 239. I'm gonna clean it off in my color switch, which takes all the color off the brush. And ah, we're not going to the game. We're just gonna go watch the game. And I'm sure you guys know where we're gonna go watch the game, right? All right, so I'm gonna use the, um, this again is the MAC 239. You can also get these in Morphe. The Morphe brush number is called JH, don't remember how I remember this. It's the Jaclyn Hill number 51. It's like a little packing brush. And the way that you get colors to differentiate themselves from the others when you're doing your eyeshadow is by using different tools. So I'm gonna pick up the, the color that's the darkest plum, it's called Branch. And I'm going to look down at my mirror and I'm really going to start to develop this outer V by pushing the color on. So when I'm on the eyelid, the motion is tap, 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 push, push, push. And as I tap and move around the eye, it actually blends out the color. So we're not swishy, swishy anymore because we're not using the big blending brushes. We're just tapping the color on. And it looks sort of unblended right now and I don't really care because I'm gonna put glitter over this part. So don't worry too much about it fading out right here. Um, although generally with eyeshadow, I don't like to see a stop and a start point. Um, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I know it looks very unfinished right now, but just hang with me because this whole look is gonna look amazing. It's gonna come together perfectly. And you know you've done a good job on your eyeshadow when it looks good with no mascara on and no eye makeup. Now I came a little too high here and this is key. I think it's good to the, um, you know, to make mistakes on my video because you can learn from these types of things. When you're developing this outer V here, I usually really want it to stay on the actual eyelid. It shouldn't go into the crease or above because now I'm gonna have to blend that back out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. And you can always use an empty blending brush to do this blend, blend, blend. And what I'm going to do is use this same exact brush to develop the under eye. I really am a big fan of bringing the same color down underneath the eye to develop the, the depth underneath. And I know right now we're looking like I've been punched in the face. That's okay. It's going to come together. I'm going to use, um, I guess it's Ibuki, this color here, the plum color. And you can look straight at your mirror to do this part. And I'm going to use the same exact brush, which is the, um, the Mac 239. And I'm just going to buff underneath. I really don't ever um, use eyeliner underneath unless it's in the waterline. I want it to look really smoked out and smudged out and smoky. So I'm just going to smudge it. And don't be afraid to come down pretty low. You know, we're going to clean all this up when it comes to the concealer and the, the um, foundation. So you can come low, smoke it out, you know, make a smoky eye out of this. All right, and again, this is the packing brush. Just smoking it out. Now the same principle that we used on the top applies to the bottom. So we moved really slowly from light colors to dark ones. Um, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. So you would work from the lighter colors to the darker ones. So now we could pick up this branch color with an even smaller brush. This is a tiny little smudge brush. Um, you can get them on Morphe. Sometimes I do this terrible thing, I lick it. These are my personal brushes. Or you can dip it into setting spray, that's fine too. I'm gonna dip into the branch color and I'm just gonna go back under my eye and develop the depth of that color again underneath. And you don't have to do it as dark as what I'm gonna do, but just trust me, this is gonna look fantastic when it comes together. All right, the next step. So if you wanna do glitter, there's a couple things you can do. You can put a little glitter here with like a liquid, um, a liquid glitter like this. This is called Moonstruck by Urban Decay and it goes on just with the applicator so you could actually just look down and paint it on um, which actually would look really pretty with this look. I'm gonna use a little glitter just because it's been a long time since I've shown you guys how to use glitter so we're gonna do it with glitter. Um, I'm gonna use a little concealer. I'm not gonna use glitter glue. You can use concealer. You can use um, lash glue or you can use glitter glue. Now I know I have all of that in front of me, but let's just do it for, for time's sake. I'm going to put a little bit of um, concealer on the inside of, or on the outside of my hand. I'm going to use a concealer brush. I'm going to look down 
and I'm going to just put the concealer where I want my glitter to go. I try to keep it pretty low um, on the eyelid only. I really don't want the glitter to collect in my crease or go above the crease. We What, what we really want is when you blink, it just be like, oh, like a little pop of glitter. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so pretty, you know? Um, and you know what? There's really nothing like glitter, especially on game day, because it's just so pretty. Um, and I know I'm extra, but oh well. Um, and then hang with me because we're going to put some lashes on in a second too. And then we're going to contour the face. So if you want to watch me contour again, you haven't seen me do a contour in a while, then just watch that part too. All right. So what I did is I put the concealer just on the eyelid. All right. Not above the crease. And I stopped about halfway. All right. Stopped about halfway. I'm going to use the same brush. And today I'm using NYX glitter and you can get it at Target. Um, it's really scary when I go to Target because the kids have to basically drag me out of the NYX section because I love NYX. Um, I'm going to use the same concealer brush. I put a little bit of glitter in the cap. I'm going to dip down into it, get a little bit on there because it's wet. It's going to pick it up really easily. I'm going to look down and then I'm just going to press the glitter on. And it stays perfectly because the concealer is wet. So if you wait too long and you don't put the glitter right on, and you let that concealer dry, you're going to be in trouble because it's not going to stick. So I kind of like that. I just want it to be just on the inside and then I want it to fade to the purple. So that's, that's perfect. So let's do this really quickly. So I want to do both sides. Um, today's uh, mascara that I'm using, I have been sharing on Instagram. And by the way, if you are watching this on Facebook and you're not following me on Instagram, that's really the place to go for more makeup content. And um, the before and after picture for today will be posted there as long, along with all the products that we used. But I shared this mascara in my stories this week. It's called Lash Princess. It's on Amazon on my storefront. It's $5. One of the girls on my Arbonne team shared it with me and I was like, oh, I got to try it because, you know, I'm up for anything, especially when it's makeup. <laughs> so I bought it and I like really love it. And you can't beat five dollars. So there's that way. Those of you who maybe have, are short on time today, you can kind of see what the eye looks like with mascara on. What do you think? What do you think, Facebook? All right. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to use that same concealer brush. I'm going to clean it off a little bit because I don't want to ever double dip because then you end up with it looking messy. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on the back of my hand. And that is the under eye eraser in light, which is from the drugstore. Look down again, starting on the inner eye. I'm painting on that concealer as my base for my glitter. Oh, I'm going extra. And today, one of my children has his first basketball game, and I'm attending that with glitter. I think the kids are used to it by now. Mommy's not changing. Mommy is extra, and oh well. People keep asking me all the time, it's so funny, if Lydia, my oldest, who is about to be 18, if she's extra too or if she likes makeup. That's like a really common question. And the answer to that is no. She's not, and I love her just the way she is. She's so okay with like, she's a complete hippie and I love it. She's just, whatever, little makeup. Okay, so I just overlapped that purple just a little bit. That way it kind of looks like one color fades into the other, you know? Um, I'm going to use the same brush. I've got my little glitter in the cap here and I'm going to look down and press the glitter on again, starting in the middle. And I am, I, I see all your comments. I know I, it's been, you know, it's crazy how much, um, my video, it really is a lot of work because then it goes into blog form and then it goes into, then it goes onto Pinterest and then it gets emailed and, um, it's a lot of work. And so doing it every single week, um, that's hard, especially during COVID. So I know I've been a little, um, MIA once in a while, but I have been back to it and all of the videos, just in case you want to go back and reference anything is on, you know, they're all on YouTube. So 
Even yesterday, I sent a lady um, the YouTube video of how to put your own lashes on because that's just, you know, I really feel like that one takes a whole, <laughs> that takes a whole video on its own. All right, so we're gonna go back in with our Lash Princess and do the mascara on this side. And then we're gonna do some face highlight and contour real quick. And I'm gonna show you what I would do with my lips and we're gonna finish the eye. Um, for those of you who are interested in the Cherry Blossom collection, it just came out. I'm loving it. It's this flat palette here. It comes with the magnetic closure. Of course, Arbon is all recycled packaging. It's a vegan product line. It's gluten free and we've banned more than 2000 chemicals in our makeup. So if you're getting that to that point where I got to, where I just was more and more concerned about what's in my products, what I consume and also what I put on my face, you might want to um, become one of my preferred customers. My preferred customers get 20% off of all of their orders all the time and we have no auto ship and no monthly charges. So it's easy just to like fall in love with what you want to fall in love with and reorder when you want to. Easy peasy. Okay. So there's the mascara. Now, before I even move forward on my face, let's go ahead and put my lashes on real quick. I have been really loving the Ardell mink, like fake mink lashes. <laughs> Um, I know that the magnetic lashes are coming back with a vengeance and y'all try them because if they work for you and you can use the magnetic liner, then totally do it. And if it, it's working for you and it's easier, go for it. Um, I'm going to use this duo glue. Now this is not a traditional duo glue. I picked this up trying to like try it out and I don't feel like it works as well as traditional duo glue. So let me show you what the difference is here. I just, where is my regular glue. I don't, I don't know what I did with it. I don't know. All right, but this is what's in front of me. So we're going to use it. Okay. Traditional duo glue comes in a white tube and I, I put the, a little bit of glue on the lash. Now remember when you're using lashes, you have to trim them first. Um, meaning if they're too long, you're going to have a really hard time getting them on because it's going to hang off the eye. And, it, and for those of us who are, you know, older, um, over 40, it can kind of pull your eye down and every, you want to do everything you can to like bring everything up with makeup. And so I always trim a little bit off the ends because I don't want them to be too long on me. Um, also I'm going to hold on to the lash for at least 30 seconds to a minute so that this lash can get really tacky. You can reuse these. I have used these probably four times. This is the fourth time I picked the glue off before we went live and I'm going to bend them so that they'll hug my eye nicely like this. And I usually use this opportunity to take a peek at what damage I've done underneath my eye as far as fallout. I am so shocked at how well I did today as far as fallout. I mean, there is not much glitter. And that's also why you wanna use something to hold the glitter down like the concealer because I'm really in shock. Not, not too bad. <laughs> All right. so. I'm gonna hold on to the lash with a pair of tweezers. So let's find a pair of tweezers here. For myself, I find that tweezers work best on other people when I'm putting them on. I you can use my fingers. Let's get some water here. Okay. The long side goes down first. With these, it's very hard to tell. So I'm thinking this one goes on this side. All right, it's key that you look down at the mirror. That is, you know, you have to do it to be able to get lashes on. If you look straight at the mirror, you're not gonna be able to tuck them in right. So you're gonna have to look down and place the lash with your tweezers. I try to line up the middle, all right? Most people obsess over lining it up correctly. Do not obsess over lining it up correctly. Just put it on there and then come back with your tweezers and lay it down, all right? So don't worry about it being perfect. You can pull it, you know, you can adjust it as you need to. And now I'm just going back with my tweezers and just kind of pushing in the lash to make sure it's down. I'm gonna pick up the other lash. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna put our glue on. Um, so if you have been having problems getting your lash on, usually I will say the number one thing is that you have not been waiting for your glue to get tacky enough. It has to dry on the lash for at least 30 seconds to a minute. I usually hold on to it, move on to some other part of my face. You know, that's your opportunity to prime your face for your foundation, whatever. Move on and then come back. I'm just making sure we're good and solid. 
And I will say for Facebook users, if this is helping you today, the game's not till 3.30, share the video. This might help some of our, our, our fans and tally um, to get ready for the game today. So we're going to um, bend it again. So it's hugs to the eye, okay? You can blow on it. Let's take a second while we're doing this. I'm going to go ahead and put my face primer on. This one is by Arbonne. It's one of the first products that I fell in love with with Arbonne um, because I tried like 12 different makeup lines when my company closed and um, I loved their primer and I loved their foundation. So when it comes to the face, I'm really kind of picky about what goes on, <laughs> but when it comes to like liners, brows, concealers, like things that aren't as foundational that aren't going to be on a bigger area of the face, I tend to go more cheaper because I go through those things really fast. So for like mascara, you know, you go through it so quickly that, and I, I especially, I buy so many because I'm doing people's makeup every day. So, all right, so I'm going to grab the lash at the middle and some folks are saying that they love the Amazon storefront. For those of you who've never shopped the storefront, I'll, I'll link it later. It's basically like all of my favorite drugstore brands in one place. So I'm looking down. I place the lash and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it where I want it to go. So it's not perfect. That's okay. Don't worry about it being perfect. And um, if you've never used a foundation primer, by the way, they are so important as you age, especially. Um, the texture of my skin has changed so much as I've gotten older and um, I like to fill in the pores, the fine lines. That way the foundation really glides across the skin, lays a little bit better. I don't look quite as aged. It's happening y'all, it's happening. It happens to us all and I freaking hate it, but you know what? This last six months I've been like, it is what it is. Oh well, like I'm gonna freaking age and it's awesome because I get to see my kids grow up and you know what, it's part of life, so. Just use all the anti-aging products that I possibly can. <laughs> all right, so my lash is good and down. Let's move to our face and highlighting and contour. What do you think? Coming together. See, the eyes are coming together, right? All right, so if you are, I know for those of you this might be repeat, but if you are dark at all, like I am dark in my body, especially right now, most of us are darker in our body. We got to bring that color up. You really don't want to match your face all the time, because, especially if you tan easily, because I don't know if you, Amazon or um, Facebook can't see me, but see how dark my skin on my body is right now? I'm pretty dark, but what happens is the SPF is so strong on my face that I don't get that color there. So you want to have a couple colors. So you can use one when you're really dark, one when you're really light, mix them when you're right in between. Today we're going to mix. So I'm going to use Golden Beige, and this is the SPF Full Coverage Foundation by Arbonne. Again, gluten-free, vegan, um, and it has an SPF 15. So I'm going to mix the two on the back of my hand, and then go ahead and put them on. And I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. Now this is where the magic happens because <laughs> my skin just is so discolored. It's crazy. I, um, I do wet and wash my beauty blender every single day and that way it applies really, really well. It, your beauty blender will apply so much better if you keep it clean. It's just insane. It's one of those only things that you have to really stay on top of because when it gets gunky, it doesn't apply as well. And guys, if you're on Facebook, I still can see your questions. So keep asking if you have any questions as I go through. Now, most people's neck is significantly lighter than the rest of their body. It's like the sun doesn't even hit here. So make sure and calm down your neck, especially if you tan easily. I can't tell you how many times I see pictures of people. Their body is dark and their face is light and they did not take the, you know, or know to bring their darker color up. You really have to go with a darker foundation um, during those times because it's, you know, it's still summer here. So um, with the Beauty Blender, I'm bouncing it off of the face because that's how it applies best very lightly. Um, and you'll find, you know, as I'm doing makeup, a lot of times I'm pushing product into the face and not swiping as much across the face. Um, really like to get a good coverage. So just push it in. What do y'all think about my glitter now that it's on? 
40 something tool for glare. <laughs> never, never too old. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny because I tell Lydia all the time, I'm like, I don't, you're not my daughter. I'm only 18. I don't have any children. And she's like, mom, you're going to have to up it now. You're going to have to say that you are 30 or something. <laughs> she knows how I am. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight, and I have a few concealers I love that are, oh, I love, they're right all in front of me. Oh my gosh, there's just so freaking many concealers. I love uh, Tarte Shape Tape still. It's really thick, I love it. I love Maybelline Under Eye Eraser. I do love Arbonne's, it's thinner. So for if you like an everyday, just light coverage, that's great. I like full coverage, so I am gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm trying to not use as much because I am a highlight fanatic. We're gonna highlight, let's highlight. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, highlight time. Put all my concealers away. Y'all can see how much makeup in front is in front of me. It's insane. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is not get too close to what I've done under my eyes because I want to keep that smudged out, smoky, plummy color under there. So I just, that's why the point of the beauty blender was, you know, is there so you can do the detail work. Oh, Tarte Shape Tape, how I love you. And I don't know what color this is. I wanna say it's like light neutral. And I see Joanne's with us um, on Facebook. She's the one that told me about mascara, which I love. She's such a wonderful, I mean, I just love having her on my Arbonne team. Um, Joanne, how old are you now? Because she is like absolutely gorgeous. And I want to say, you answer and then I'll, and then I'll guess because I think I know what, how old you are, but I just want to make sure. Um, all right, so we're pressing, pressing, pressing. I do the forehead, I get closer to the brows. I did my brows before we went live because they take a minute and I just wanted to save you guys the time. Oh, she's 69. So she'll be what, 70 this year? And beautiful. She knows what she's doing with her makeup too. All right, so that is the highlight. So it's not really complicated when people are like, oh, I don't know how to highlight and contour. It's really not as complicated as people think it is. I'm gonna get right here just a little bit more. I woke up really puffy. Um, I'm fasting this morning because I have been just really inflamed <sighs> since being sick and on antibiotics, so I'm fasting. But um, try and get some of this down. How many shades from your foundation? Oh, okay, good question. How many more shades from the foundation is the, is the highlight maybe? Is that what you're asking? I think that's how many shades from your foundation should you be? Oh, okay. So the question is, how many shades lighter did I go on my highlight than I did my foundation? That's different for everybody. I will say this. I am doing a lot lighter. I like a nice, strong contrast between my highlight and my contour. So the one that I'm using today was um, Light Medium Sand by Tarte. And I always come down, as you've noticed, in this sort of triangle shape right here because I don't want um, a little moon under my eyes. When you have pictures taken and you see these ladies with these really white under eyes, we want to prevent against that. So bring your highlight all the way down. All right. And, um, and I do do at least two shades lighter, at least two shades lighter. Now, not on everybody because sometimes I'm like, it just depends on the person, but I did do much lighter. Okay, I'm going to use these new pressed powders by Arbonne. These are called Second Nature Powders. They come in six colors. They're great setting powders. I've been traveling with them. I have every color now. I love them. Um, I'm going to use medium on my under eye and then tan on the rest of my face. Now, the reason I do that is because under my eye, I want it to stay nice and light. I do not want to ruin what I've done with my contour or my highlight in my T-zone. I want this area to be light and then we're gonna add the dark on the you know exterior of the face. So I usually will typically pick up a lighter, a smaller brush and um, pat it on. Now can you see how it all kind of comes together? I know it looks really crazy when you do eyes first, especially at the beginning, and that's sometimes why I won't even let people look at their makeup when I'm doing it until 
I get to this point because they're like, what in the hell is this lady doing to me? She, I mean, my eyes look like I've been beat and my face has had nothing done to it. I've actually had women who <laughs> will say to me, are you going to put foundation on? I'm like, yes, I'm going to put foundation on you. It's just that I do eyes first. I'm going to flip my hair to the other side. I think this is the way it's supposed to be parted. So no, um, somebody's asking, do you use translucent powder? Yes, I do love translucent powder, but I am not using it today. Um, I want a little bit fuller coverage. I'm gonna come down my chin. Translucent powder is clear, by the way. This is translucent powder. I have two different kinds in front of me. But I'm using tan, second nature, on the rest of my face. And now we are going to contour. So once you've highlighted, set your highlight, then move to your contour. I always set it before I move on because I don't want this to move at all. Like I want it to be bulletproof and not going anywhere. I'm gonna come back to my um, my cherry blossom really quickly and I'm gonna dip into those colors that I smudged underneath my eye earlier. And I'm just gonna build that smudge just a little bit because I feel like maybe I got a little too close with my highlight here and I wanna add it back. So I added a little bit back there. Now I still love translucent powder. I use it all. I do find though, um, guys, that it's easier to travel with a power a compact. And so I love those second nature powders because they're much easier to touch up during the day, carry in your purse. Whereas translucent powders are always loose and harder to travel with. Which brush is that? Okay, so this brush is the Morphe E42. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Um, that's where I set my whole face. Now you can tell a huge difference, hopefully. And if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me there because I'll post this before and after in my stories today on my skin. I'm all about the skin. It's all about the skin, especially at my age. Like we want to perfect the look of the skin. And that's why I love the Arbonne foundation because it's super light, but the coverage is amazing. So I don't feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy. It's wonderful. We're going to use the Starlight Glow Palette to contour. And you guys know, people tell me all the time, like, you really like that palette. You use it in every video. Yes, I do. I love it. Love it. And I mix in all the colors. And then there's the highlight. So um, plus all of them have a mirror. So I like that because you can, you know, it's easy to travel with and have something that you can see yourself up close. I'm going to use a small contour, like a blusher brush. You can mix. I mix a lot, but I use this one a lot more. You can tell because it's matte, but I do like to mix. And what we're going to do to contour is we're going to start at the back of the face right here. Everybody sees fine. I know that you guys on Instagram can probably see more of me, whereas Facebook is a little bit closer up. All right. So I start at the back of the face because again, wherever you put the brush first is where the most amount of product deposits. And so I just move down slightly. Um, I do not come down here, avoid that. Don't come too far down. And then I kind of buff it upwards. But you really want to, I mean, keep it pretty strong. If it scares you, it's perfect, all right? I'm not kidding with you right now. If it scares you, it's perfect. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna be in front of the camera. So I'm going to do my forehead now. I have a very large forehead. I've told you guys before, whatever you make dark is going to look smaller. Whatever you make light is going to look larger. And so because I have a large forehead, I do a lot of contouring, especially on the corners. So you can see it's sort of like this coming from the corners here. And then we're going to do the other side. And I'm going to use a different blush today too because of the game. I want it to really stand out a little bit more um and i'm just dabbing it on as you can tell i like to kind of push the color in more um and then the nose so you can do it lightly where you just come down the nose like this or you can really carve out your nose which i will just say for another time because that is what i usually do is really carve it out but we don't want to take any more of your time so i'm just going to come around the nose you can come underneath do your neck if you feel like, oh, my neck's still, you know, not matching. But I love that. Love contour. Contour should be a part of everybody's day. Always. Even if you're just going to the gym. Okay, so for blushes, I'm going to use this color here. And I think it's called Berry. And this one's wine. I think this one's Berry. So I'm going to use Berry because it's a little bit more plum toned. 
Let me pick up my palette. See, I have to have this palette here. And the Berry blush is by Arbonne. I use all of their blushes. I love their blushes. Plus, blushes last forever. So. Do y'all see it? I don't know how good the camera quality is when it's on Instagram. All right, so then the lip colors that we're going to use today. Oh, these eyes, you guys. Like, loving it. So I put on my Instagram story last week all these Jordana lip liners that I love. I'm in love with all of them because they're only $3 and you can get them at the drugstore and I have every color and I love them all. And we're going to use um, Merlot. I think Merlot is a perfect Florida State color. Right? I mean, look at that. Mm-hmm. And... I'm not gonna just leave it like on the outside. I want to come in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. My my um, my glitter eyeshadow matches my earrings. You know, I have realized that this is a southern thing, because a lot of my friends in the north are like. We do not dress up like you guys do for, for game days. Like, we think it's so stupid. We wear a jersey and a t-shirt. I'm like, oh, no, no. Mm -mm. No, no. It's called, like, um, <laughs> game day glam in the South. Uh, and you know what? I'm all about it. I am all about it. I'm coming in. I'm coming in a little bit. Look at how deep that color is. Isn't it pretty? Ah, oh, I love it. And I'm not gonna embarrass my children at all today. Hmm. They're gonna be like, "There's just that's just mom." All right, I'm gonna blend it a little bit. I love lip liner. Love lip liner. Like. You can change the look of any lipstick or any lip gloss by using lip liner. Love it. And it keeps, you know, keeps everything on more, but also with these dark colors, it gives you that really solid, precise outer line. Did I just get it on my face? Did I just get it on my face? Ugh. All right. Getting the smudge, right? All right, so we're gonna use Lotus by Armand. Love this color for game days. Lip liner is life, girl, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, this is Lotus. Over, over Merlot. So, Make sure and go back. I love these Jordana lip liners. I, I like literally wear them every day. All right, so I'm going to set it. I, um, what do I got in front of me? So I'm getting the makeup going here. All right, um, hair is of course falling already because my hair doesn't hold anything. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I just had one of those moments. I was like, did I put on both lashes? Yes, yes, I put on both lashes. Okay, and then I take my beauty blender and I just press in my setting spray. I know it's weird, it's my thing, but as I've aged, I feel like it kind of like, I tones down the powder, kind of makes it look like, oh, I'm not so unnatural because this is super unnatural. When you see my before and after picture today, this is a lot of makeup, but it's gonna look good on camera, and so. Plus, I don't care if it looks good on camera or not. I wear this much makeup and then I don't, no shame. I don't care. I love it. Love makeup. All right. So I will put, um, I haven't done it yet, but I'll go back and put like a list of everything that I used today. And for those of you who are not my preferred customers yet, you just pay $29 to become a preferred customer. 
and it's for the whole year. You get 20% off of all of your Arbonne products for the whole year. No auto ship, no monthly charges, no fees, no nothing like that. You just can get all of your makeup that way and all of your skincare, and of course, nutrition. Um, and then if you are already a preferred customer, don't forget this month you get to pick a freebie with a 150 order. You get free shipping and your 20% off, but you get to pick a free full size product at checkout automatically. If you're already my preferred customer, that's for people that were already registered before September 1st. Um, but what I used today, that was the Starlight Glow Palette to contour. We used the Cherry Blossom Collection eyeshadow palette. We used the Lotus lipstick. And then I'm going to comment or post with all of the other products that we used. Oh yeah, we used all of the setting powders. And then I'll post the Amazon storefront. So if you want some of these drugstore brands that I love, you can click and shop there. And also, also you know, mirrors, bags, you know, lighting, anything I love, I just like throw it on there because it's all housed in one place and it makes it really easy for you guys to find. I know. Thank you, Karen. That was really sweet. <laughs> she said I'll always be 17 to her. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful game day. Let's cheer on our Florida State Seminoles, and I will see you next week for Makeup Tip Monday. Even though it's not Monday, hey, we learned something today. Share the video and share the love. See you later.